In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Google Shadow account preferences. From the home screen, go ahead and click on Setup, and it'll take you to the Preferences screen. At the top here, you'll see Google, Yahoo, and MSN logos. The three tick boxes to the left of those logos turn on or off the corresponding search engine ad output. You need to tick at least one of these boxes in order to save your preferences appropriately. I'm going to turn on all three search engine ad outputs here. Next to Google and MSN, you'll see the same options, split test, static, and dynamic. These refer to the headlines for the text ads for each ad group. So if you have split test checked, you'll create two ad groups, two text ads, sorry, per ad group automatically. One text ad will have a static headline, and a second text ad will have a dynamic headline. The difference between static and dynamic is a static headline remains the same regardless of what keyword search query triggered your ad to show. A dynamic headline will change to the keyword that triggered your ad to show. If you need more help on that, we'll have something in the FAQ to help you out there. So split test is both ads and static or dynamic is just one ad. So I'm going to turn on split test for both. On the Yahoo line, you'll see optimize and advanced. Checking Optimize turns on the feature in Yahoo that shows the text ad within the ad group that has the better performance. In Google, you set this at the campaign level, but in Yahoo, you set this at the ad group level. So by ticking it, you turn on the option for Optimize. In Yahoo, you don't have broad, phrase, and exact, you have advanced. So advanced match operates similar to broad and phrase operates in Google and MSN. By ticking that option, you turn that on within your Yahoo ad group. On the bottom here, you'll see the general settings. The auto headline will automatically create a headline based upon your display URL. So if your display URL is www.redshoes.com, then your headline will be Red Shoes. It just strips away the www and whatever the ending is, whether it's .com, .co.uk, .eu, etc. The default keywords option is, is kind of difficult to, difficult to explain, but I'll try and summarize it here quickly. You can have multiple keyword lists within your Google Shadow account. So let's say you had keyword list 1, keyword list 2, keyword list 3, and keyword list 4. If you're writing ads and you use keyword list 1 most of the time, but every once in a while you want to use keyword list 2 for whatever reason. If you're writing in the midst of writing ads and you switch to keyword list 2 for that particular ad, then save or delete that ad and move on to the next. By clicking default keywords, you will automatically be switched back to your number one keyword list. If that doesn't make sense, don't worry about it. We'll show you more about it later in the how-to manual. For the broad, phrase, and exact, these refer to the keyword match types. These only work for Google and MSN, because as I explained earlier, Yahoo doesn't use broad, phrase, and exact. They just use advanced. So by ticking these, you'll create for every keyword that goes in your keyword box on the Create Ads tab here, you'll wrap those keywords into broad, phrase, and exact forms. You need to have at least one of these options checked. It's up to you which one. I'm going to check all three for this example here. The dual browser mode is another thing that's fairly complicated to explain in this short video, but I'll do my best. Uh, dual browser will open two separate windows for your ad creation. One window will include just the user interface here, and the other window will have your merchant's website there for you to view while you write the ad. Unclicking dual browser will leave it in single browser mode where your ad interface will remain here, and in this window here, you'll see the merchant's website in an iframe. The ad preview turns on and off the ad preview on the home page. So you see here you have a similar to Google uh, ad output so you can see what your ad looks like as you type the ad as you see here and then unchicking it will make that go away auto keywords clicking this box here automatically turns on the generation of keywords based upon your headline so whatever you have in your headline with the auto keywords generated you'll see your keywords populate here once you have the keyword variable set up and the default CPC, this is the CPC you'll want defaulted for um, all your ads. It'll automatically populate in the CPC field here. 
Now this only impacts Yahoo and MSN because when you export Google files into editor you have to set the CPC once you import those files. So that pretty much covers the preferences screen and if you have any additional questions refer to the how to or the users form or put in a support ticket and we'll answer your questions as best as we can. Thanks.